which of the following is a valid statement of Boyce's law? In other words, which of those correctly describes Boyce's law? Let's start with the ideal gas law equation, PV equals nRT. From this equation, we should be able to write the universal gas constant R equals PV over nT. And this ratio should be always constant. You know, before any condition changes and after the conditions are changed, those ratio should stay the same. In other words, the ratio before the change, we say P1V1 over N1T1 should equal P2V2 over N2V2 after the change. Before the change, after the change, should have the same constant. All right? Then from this equation right here, we can write many other related equations, gas-related equations. For example, if the number of moles and the temperature is constant, N1 equals N2, T1 equals T2, then we can simply cross N1, T1, N2, T2. Then what do we have? We just have P1V1 equals P2V2 left. And that's the Boyce law. And at this moment, actually, we already know C is the correct answer. But let me just keep going for just a, a little bit longer. Now, at a constant N and P, which means N1 equals N2, we can cancel the two. P1 equals P2, we can also remove the pressure. So now, after P1, N1 is gone, we have V1 over T1, and on the other side, just V2 over T2. So therefore, we have this equation, and that's Charles' law equation. That's under constant N and P. Now, if the number of moles and the volume stay the same, we actually have the Amontan's law, P1, T1, equals P2, T2, because N and V, N1 equals N2, V1 equals V2, then you just have P1, T1 left for the left-hand side, and then P2, T2, P2, T2 left for the right-hand side. And the constant time and pressure, we have the Avogadro's law, if you do the same. And just as the constant number of moles, we have the combined gas law. And I can write a few more of those under different conditions. So that's way, that's the best way, I think, to uh, um, work on problems um, related with gas laws. So you don't need to remember all of the equations, but have to remember the key equation and be able to write the other related equations to solve any given problems.